Did you know that in the Colorado real estate contract, there are 31 different terms to negotiate? It's not just about price. When we get an offer or possibly even multiple offers, I will help you evaluate the terms of each one, the risks, the pros, the cons, everything. I'll let you know if everything in the offer looks pretty standard or if anything is out of the ordinary. When you receive an offer, you could choose to accept the offer as is, counter or decline. If you choose to counter, that could include anything from the price to different terms in the contract. Just as an FYI, some of the larger closing costs that get negotiated are seller concessions, title insurance, the cost of the appraisal, the cost of the ILC or survey, transfer taxes, and other miscellaneous closing costs. Most often in our market, we see the seller pay for the title insurance. The buyer usually pays for the appraisal as that's part of their loan closing costs, as well as the ILC or survey. We usually see the transfer taxes and other miscellaneous closing costs get split between the buyer and the seller. I'm saying typically or usually because again, everything is negotiable. Once you and the buyers come to an agreement, we will officially be under contract. Congratulations. The buyer's due diligence period will begin and our next steps are to, del to deliver them various documents and disclosures, but don't stress, I'm here to manage all of that.